Hello there guys, this is Matthew the Dinosaur King and today I am back with my promised collection update video. So yeah, so this is my collection as of um, the 9th of November 2017. So this might be me, be my last collection video probably until I think next year. But I uh, just thought I'd show you guys what my collection looks like so far. So first up we have my collector shelf. You can see. around there. There's the big Styracosaurus from this year and the tiny little Aniosaurus, Reglaceratops and Excalibosaurus from this year. So go along. There's the Gigant Spinosaurus as well from this year. My safari shelf. So we've got some new additions from from this year, like the Diplodocus, the Dinochirus, the Iniosaurus, the Parasaurolophus, the brilliant feathered T-Rex, the Coelophysis, Giganotosaurus, uh, the Velociraptor that you can see down there, and the massive Chronosaurus. I've got some of my old, old Carnegie figures here as well. Also, there's the little Cetacosaurus. Just in there. So, oh, as you can see, yep. So, yeah, I've had to put my Archaeopteryx on top of my T Rex, so I think it looks actually a pretty cool pose. Uh, there's the Microraptor as well from this year. I had to have a widget in there. You can see at the back there. Some of my Carnegie figures. There's some of my marine creatures down there as well. So yep, that's my safari collection. Up here is Papo, where it normally is. So from this year, we have the Crylophosaurus, which is brilliant. Ooh, a bit of dust. There's the Ceratosaurus from this year, brilliant figure. There's the Acrocanthosaurus from this year. figures at the back there. So we've got the little mammoth in there. Go along here. See there's the new Schleich Brachiosaurus in there to my Schleich collection. So yeah Schleich has been reduced a bit because I've had to put them on other shelves so yeah so not much love Schleich on uh, my, my Schleich and Pava shelf anymore. Then up here we have some of my old retro figures. We've got my old Schleich here. Uh, there's um, Rebarf at the back. I, I don't know why. I, I guess I would still keep them because, well, yeah, be, you know, they're like the first two figures before they became bad. Bad company. It's a long story. Here's some 4D Fame Master um, figures. At the back there, there's a the Natural History Museum line. Jaru, these two little figures, and then these are the scientific toys uh, figures I got with a, with a set, and then there's Invicta at the back, some more, a couple of Schleich, there's Impro, very old company, more Invicta, Cretaceous and Maelstrom from uh, Ice Age 2, and there's my Mojo Tyrannosaurus, and then above me we have got some of my pterosaurs, we've got my Jurassic World mini uh, Pteranodons, my Jurassic World mini um, Dimorphodons, my uh, buildable little pterosaurs as the Sungaripteries, Pterodostro, and Pteranodon, my 4D puzzle two Pteranodons, the Walking with Dinosaurs, Quetzalcoatlus, the Collector Pteranodon, the massive Schleich Quetzalcoatlus, the original, the Safari Limited, hello SpongeBob. Safari Limited, um, Dimorphodon and Rampharynchus, and the Schleich and Hanguera. Now we're just going to go over to my other shelf. So this is here, it's a little bit focused, this is on my bookshelf. See, there we've got, it's like my first bookshelf, so I'm a bit of a, a bookworm, I love my reading. And then we've got here some of my modern day uh, animals that I've collected. Mainly from Schleich, there's a couple here from Bullyland and also Papo. 
Some of them, you know, I kind of like some of them. I found at charity shops. Others I bought because, well, I thought they looked cool. At the back, there's my pop Godzilla figure. Let's give you a bit, better look at my books. Now, the Meg books there. Now, they're actually, the first book is actually being made into a film for next year. Starring Jason Statham for some reason. I, I'm a bit apprehensive about the film, but I, I'm still looking forward to it. It's just, you know, there's... The book is always going to be different to the film, so I'm just kind of worried about it. But I think it should still be good. That's my other one. There's the Harry Potter books there as well. So yeah, that's my modern dinos. Now down here I've got some of my other dinosaur figures. So I've got my other Schleich figures. My 2017 Stegosaurus. And then there's the Ketrosaurus from 2015. There's the um, old Steg. And then there's the brand new 2017 Ketrosaurus. There's Greyskull. My repainted Allosaurus, my Schleich Parasaurolophus, and then there's the Schleich Mini T Rex. There's the this is the Crocodilian Tube from Safari Limited. I've put in here. At the back you can see some of my pops. Now there are a couple, there are some behind them as well. So I've got Peter and Brian. I've also got Stewie in there somewhere. He's at the back. There's Daenerys from Game of Thrones, and there's there's Deadpool. I've got my special burning Godzilla. And then here I've got some other um, buildable figures. Now this Saltosaurus, Ankylosaurus, and the T-Rex I actually got from the Dinosaurs in the Wild um, gift shop, which was a brilliant thing to see. I uh, also got a few other bits, but yeah, that's just some of the bits I got there. There's the A. Edmontonia, which I really do like. It's a great little figure. And there's some of the collector corpses, the T-Rex, the Trike, and the Steg. Down here are some more of my books. Got my Alien Pop, my Goliath Pop from Evolve, some more of my books. As you can see, I'm a big bookworm. And here are some more of my tubes. I've got the Shark Tube, the Prehistoric Marine Life Tube, and the Feathered Dinosaur Tube. And we've got more of my books in there. And then up at the top of here, we've got some other pops. There's Elliot from Pete's Dragon, the original, not that new one. We've got the Alien Queen, there's Kong. Uh, Smaug, and then I've got Flash from Zootropolis, and the Spot. I've got some of and that's back there. You can see this my giant 2005 uh, Roaring Kong figure. Got some of my NECA aliens. There's the Dog Alien from Alien 3, the Aliens Genocide Red Alien, the Alien Isolation Xenomorph, and there's the Albino Alien. There's Devastator at the back from Revenge of the Fallen. Uh, there's, the, there's a buildable puzzle that looks like the, the uh, Papo T Rex. As we go along, here's another uh, of my dinosaur shelves. We've got some of my Walking with Dinosaurs, the movie figures. Got some of the minis in there, and there's Patchy and Scowler, the Troodon, who's now um, no longer valid, which is sad, but oh well. And there's uh, the Gorgosaurus, and there's the Ultimate Gorgon. I've got some of my old Walking with Dinosaurs figures in the back. So you've got the Postosuchus, Polycanthus, the T Rex, the Steg, and the Ophthalmosaurus you can see in there. Some of my old Bullyland figures. Uh, Favourite Co, Strikosaurus and Trike. That dinosaur magazine, that never really happened to be honest. It's a steak. I've got some of my Terra by Batat figures. As you can see, uh, the T-Rex and Pachyranosaurus are fighting. I think it's quite cool. Got Diorama. They've got some of my other buildable little figures. The dinosaurs, the prehistoric mammals, the early creatures and so on and so forth. Yes. Bit of a crowded shelf, but I haven't got anything else to put them. And down here is my NECA shelf. This is my recent addition, the uh, NECA 7-inch Ultimate Gypsy Danger. I'm about to put her accessories away, but her chest does actually glow. Here she is next to Ultimate Striker Eureka. And at the back there's Horizon Brave. Coyote Tango. I don't know if you can see him, but Crimson Typhoon's back there as well. Then there's uh, Scunner. Trespasser. Uh, Battle Damage Knife Head, and then in there you can see there's the original Knife Head. I've got the 1984 Godzilla, the awesome uh, GMK Godzilla. It's really cool. There's Otachi at the back, and there's Leatherback. As well, there's the 2014 Godzilla, 1954 Godzilla. There's my Aliens Genocide Xenomorph, the normal one, and then there's Shin Godzilla. There's a little face hugger from my Mantis Alien, because there are two aliens I haven't got on display, I've had to put them elsewhere. 
and then there is little baby Otachi that comes with the adult. Now down here to my like my uh, last night transformer shelf. First, I'll show you this is my NECA uh, Predators. It's the Young Blood and, and the Berserker. I believe I can't remember. <laughs> Got some little Godzilla minis down there. There's the staff that comes with the young blood. At the back there we've got the Lego Raptor Squad. Now, these are from the actual Lego Jurassic World sets that I got. So there's um, Echo, Charlie, Blue and Delta. There's some other little mini figures that my other half gave me. There's an Amiibo Charizard. I like Charizard. My favourite Pokemon. Uh, this is my Transformers The Last Night shelf. You can see, yeah, so yeah. a lot of my recent additions include Infernicus there, Hound, uh, Skeletron, Cogman, Scorn, uh, Strafe, and I believe that's it. Then I got the Squeaks, and then I've got the Titan's Return, uh, Croc, uh, so yeah. And there's Quintessa, the creator. Comes with Infernicus. And down here, this is my other Transformer shelf, just another assortment of figures that I've got out. So I've got the Combiner Wars figures over to the sides, and I've got the Age of Extinction Dinobots in here. Got some like uh, Robots in Disguise toys as well, there's a little Shark Decon, Dark of the Moon Bumblebee. Uh, Lockdown, who's probably my favourite villain from the Transformers films. And there's Soundwave from R.I.D. And there's Hound as well. Right, so yes, yeah, so as of right now, this is my whole collection I've got. I think there's like a, probably a few figures I didn't show us because, well, they're in storage at the moment because I haven't got anywhere else to put them. <laughs> but yes, um, so yeah, this is my collection as of the 9th of November 2017. And to any of you wondering, I have seen the brand new 2017 Safari figures and the first lot of Collector. I think they all look fantastic. When Safari finishes revealing the figures, I will be doing a thoughts and opinions video. But next week I will be doing my Q&A. So if there's any more questions you want to ask, you've still got plenty of time to leave them. Either on this video, or my announcement video for the Q&A, or on social media if you've got me on Facebook and stuff. Um, so yeah, so I hope to see you guys in the next video. So please take care, and have a great day. Bye!